Hello everyone, Professor Hartman here again. Today we're going to answer this question, how does energy flow through an ecosystem? I have went online and found a very nice diagram. I just googled, you know, energy flow through an ecosystem and this is what I got. And there's all sorts of stuff out there, different explanations about energy flow through an ecosystem. First you have to understand what is the ecosystem. Well, that's your very large area that <clears throat> provides a habitat for all sorts of organisms. Producers, consumers, and decomposers. These are our organisms. Our producers are the uh, photosynthetic organisms that take the nutrients that are in the soil and they produce energy or food for consumers. Consumers are organisms that cannot make their own food. They need to eat the producers or they need to eat other consumers. So think about these terms, producers and consumers, and think about the organisms that are in these groups. Once again, producers are the plants and other photosynthetic organisms that can make their own food out of the nutrients that are provided either in the soil or in the air, the little particles in, in the air that rain will uh, collect and drop on these um, producing organisms. Okay, uh, Consumers, once again, these are organisms that will require food or their energy from the, cons the producers. Consumers also eat each other. <laughs> so, uh, in other words, a tiger is a consumer and a tiger will eat other consumers. A tiger will eat um, antelope or a tiger will eat um, of some of the smaller mammals. Or if we're in Florida here, think about a consumer as um, an alligator. An alligator will eat fish or birds or turtles or small mammals. Okay, so consumers have to get their food from something else. Now, um, a horse and a cow and a ants, you know, these are all consumers too, okay? So consumers are organisms that cannot make their own food. They have to consume other organisms to do, to get energy, okay? Now we also have in our ecosystem, we have a group that are called decomposers. These are organisms that break down, decompose, living things or basically non-living anymore okay um, decomposers usually arrive on the scene and begin to break down the dead organism and release chemicals into the um, the ground and these chemicals get taken up by our producers. Okay, so this right here is the the cycle, the energy flow through the system. Now, but notice here, I didn't talk about this. The sun. The sun is the um, primary energy source that basically gets this cycle going. The sun provides the energy so that the plants can photosynthesize. Now these plants, you know, they grow and they give off oxygen, but they are also 
food for the consumers. Remember this big group involved um, the plant eaters. It also involves the, uh, the carnivores, the meat eaters, the omnivores, you know, all sorts of organisms um, belong in this group. And then when both of these organisms, when they die, this is where these arrows are coming here. The, um, the decomposers, <clears throat> the decompo decomposers, excuse me, they go ahead and start to break down the uh, dead organisms. Now, you'll see here there's are mushrooms. Mushrooms are a part of the fun fungi group the fungi kingdom. There are a lot of um, decomposers in the bacteria kingdom as well. So um, once again let's just take a look here at the cycle. We've got the Sun brings its energy, the heat energy into the producers. It gets the photosynthesis cycle going here. Heat's given off. Notice that I've, with each of the steps of this um, this um, energy flow, heat is given off because when energy changes from one form to another, heat is given off. So we see that energy moves through the system. This uh, cycle is giving us uh, energy in the red arrows and nutrients in the blue arrows. And we see that the nutrient cycle here moves through and the <clears throat> energy cycle comes here. Okay, So heat's given off at all of these stages. So that should help you understand how energy flows through an ecosystem and remember ecosystem is just the very large area where all sorts of organisms live. It involves both living and non-living. By living we mean all of our producers, consumers, and decomposers. By non-living we mean basically the nutrients, the soil, the rocks, the water, the gases that are produced. Those are all non-living entities of the ecosystem. So I hope you understand this, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.